Alright, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to, how to find an angle, any angle, on an optical comparator. It's very simple. First thing you want to do is click the angle button on here. Just like all the rest of them, it shows you exactly where it is. You can't miss it, it tells you. Now, first things first, it's gonna, you're going to have to specify the points on your very first leg. So you're going to click enter to establish a point on the first leg. Now you can have up to 100 points, but for time's sake, I'm just going to have a few points. Let's say four points on this first leg, right here. And then you click finish, and then it says the first leg, and that's it. That's the first leg. Then you go to the second leg of your angle, or triangle, and then you put another four points on that leg. And when you're finished with that, try to get as close to the line as you can. You click finish, and using those two legs, it'll show you the angle in between them. Now, an important thing to note is that this angle, specifically, is the angle inside. That is the inside angle. Ooh, I'm gonna turn this up. Can you get closer so that make them see that? All right. That basically tells you this angle right here. Now, if you wanted to get the other angles, of course, you could do the math to it, but also, you can hit change on here, and it gives you these three options to be able to add 180, subtract 180, and subtract on subtract what you have from 360. So if you wanted to get the outside angle, instead of getting the inside angle from what you got, you would just click 360 minus that, and then that would give you the other angle. And that is it.